Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. My name is Isaac Oster. I am a game artist, and I also teach at the college level. I'm currently uh, working in a studio called Blue Point Games and teaching at the University of Texas here in Austin. So this is a little bit of my, my work. Some of it is personal work and some of it is professional. And you can get a sense for, for uh, what most of it is. There's some character work and some prop work, uh, some hard surface work and a little bit of organic stuff sprinkled in here and there. But hard surface is definitely my area of expertise. And most of my uh, tutorial content is delivered in the form of videos. And these videos are usually behind a password, but uh, just in case anybody is out there uh, and they're feeling a little bit bored and they want to they want to maybe learn something new, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff uh, public. So for anybody who is interested, uh, these are the tutorials that I introduce my college students to ZBrush with. Now ZBrush is a very, very powerful tool, uh, very, very common in the game industry. It takes a little while to learn it and uh, it is a, a marginally complicated tool. But, you know, if you've got nothing else to do, man, may as well take a crack at it, right? So this is my introductory series. If you go to the uh, the tutorials link here, again, this is uh, isaacoster.com, and then tutorials, introduction to ZBrush. There are a few things that are kind of important to know before you jump in, which is that there are some resource files. These resource files include some materials and a user interface that I like for my students to use and some brushes. And then down here are the install instructions. So it's very, very simple. You just follow these instructions and you're basically off and running. So the first tutorial series here is focused on just a general introduction to ZBrush and then also mostly oriented around organic sculpting. So we do a few hands, we do a fist, and then we jump to an animal. And typically it'll take my college students anywhere from six to eight weeks to kind of get through this material. And you know, they've got other classes and stuff, so it's not like they're bogged down too much. So you could probably, if all you were doing was looking at it, you know, you could get through it relatively quickly, I think. And if you have any questions or you hit any issues, please don't hesitate to drop me a line. Be happy to try to get you unstuck if I can. So there's a few things that you're going to need before you jump into this. And the first one is you really need a tablet. I like this one. It's the Wacom Intuos 4 Small. It looks like Amazon doesn't have any uh, for sale directly, but you can get them at Best Buy. Uh, it's about 200 bucks, maybe 150 if you can find one used. And then um, I also like to use a couple of monitors, but mostly so you can have the tutorial up on one side and ZBrush up on the other side, uh, just to make it as easy as possible. Or you can use reference, references up on one or whatever, right? It's just kind of better to have ZBrush dedicated to one monitor and then whatever else you have going on in, uh, you know, in your life, you can have on the other monitor. So the ben BenQ uh, is a pretty good brand. I you know poked around and these had good reviews. I've got some that are very similar. Uh, these are currently unavailable, but I'm sure you can find something that is comparable. This link is a little bit old at this point, but uh, I'm sure these guys are still making monitors. And then uh, you'll need ZBrush. So ZBrush is made by a company called Pixelogic, and you can go to the uh, store.pixelogic.com and you'll be presented with some of these options here. So you can get a single user monthly subscription for 40 bucks a month. Uh, six month subscription is 180 and then the forever license is 895. So um, I'm not sure, my guess is because it's a one-time fee, it's a lifetime license. What this means is whenever ZBrush comes out with an update, you just get the update for free. Uh, I got ZBrush a million years ago when it was like 600 bucks and I've been getting free updates ever since. I think they might have changed it for 2020, but anyway, so this is where you get ZBrush. Again, this is where the tutorials live, isaacoster.com. And then you go to the tutorials link. Uh, in addition to uh, to ZBrush, I have a few other tutorials here that may be interesting. One of them is going to be an introduction to Substance Painter, which is a really, really useful tool for creating uh, textures for video games. And then some of these others, uh, Fusion 360 is a really nice tool. It's a, it's a CAD tool that you can actually get for free if you're a student. It's really, really good for hard surface modeling. Uh, and then currently I haven't actually updated the, uh, the password status on this page, but you know, if you're interested in learning Python scripting and Maya, these are available for a dollar gumroad. So hopefully that's not out of anybody's budget. Anyway, the important part is this is where the introduction to ZBrush tutorial lives. And that's kind of what it, what it looks like. So if this is interesting to you, please feel free to jump in. Like I said earlier, I'm happy to answer questions. And if you're looking for a way to maybe give a little back, I would say find a local charity that you like to support and just give them 10 bucks and we'll call it even. Or if you're coming from Pete Dominic's podcast, 
Uh, if you want to just sign up for a you know five dollar a month Patreon subscription for him, that would that would be awesome because I really like that guy and I think he's doing good work. And a little support goes a long way. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, enjoy, and I'd love to see your work. Take care.